Using the free version of any software or plugin against its premium version comes with its own limitation to the features you can use and those you can't. So in this video, we would be looking at how we can be able to use the image carousel element to substitute for the slide element, which is a feature available only on the Elementor Pro plugin. Also, we'll be looking at how we can be able to add separate redirect links to individual images instead of being limited to just one. Now by default, you can only add a single link to the image carousel element for the free version. And if we happen to add more than one redirect links, we would encounter an error because those links would get mixed with each other and basically, you just redirect into all those links to get out to go. So in this video, we'll see how we can bypass having the same functionality as the slides using the image carousel element. So let's get into it. The first thing we want to do is to install the plugin called PointNet add-ons for Elementor. To do this, let's hover over our plugins to select Add New. Once that comes up, we want to head down to the search bar and enter in PointNet add-ons for Elementor. Let's click on Install Now and then Activate. Once we've activated that, we'll be redirected to the plugin settings page. Now looking at these options, we can see we have the option to add multiple custom URLs to our image carousel, which is the feature we'll be needing for this video. Now you can certainly work your way around with the other features that comes with this plugin, but for this video, let's focus on just this feature. So from here, let's hover over pages to select all pages. I'm just going to open up our website homepage by clicking on edit with Elementor. Once that comes up, we can see from here we've got the element slides right here for the pro version. Now let's see how we can create an exact replica using the image carousel. First off, let's duplicate this so we can have the same structure except for this center column. To duplicate this, let's hover over the section and then right click on that and then select duplicate. Now that we've got that duplicated, let's delete this center column so we can create the same slides using the carousel element. To do that, let's right click on this slide to select delete. Next, let's head down to our design element by clicking on this icon. Come down to the search widget and search for image carousel. I want to drag and drop this into the middle column. Now that we've got that in there, we want to select the images we want to appear in here. So let's click on this add sign icon. Since we have these three images in our slides, I will just select them. So let's start out with the first by selecting this one, and then the second, and third. Once we've selected them, we want to click on create a new gallery. From here, we can choose to reorder these images by drag and drop. Once you're satisfied with your choices, let's click on insert gallery, and we should have our images appear here. Next, we want to start out customizing the image carousel to look exactly like what we have here. So let's start out with the first option, which is the size image. From here, we have this set to thumbnail. We want this to be set to full, so I'm just going to select full. Okay, for the slider to show option, let's click on that. I want just one image appearing here. So I'm just going to select one. Okay, that looks nice. Next, we want to leave the stretch images to no. For the navigations, this should be based on your own personal preference. I'm just going to leave it at arrows and that. Now, this is our main concern right here, the links. Right now, it's set to none. So let's click on that. I want to change this to custom URL. Once we select that, we can see this text right here, giving us a little insight on how the plugin we just installed works. Essentially, what this means is that we can now add more than one custom URL for each of these images we chose to display here. So if we add in two images, we would want to add just two links in here. And if there are three images, then we can add three links in here and so on. But one thing we should take note of is we need to add a comma to every link we add in here. So let's say we add links to three social media platforms since we have three images in here. So if we start out with Facebook, we need to add in a comma, YouTube, adding a comma and then for the last, there will be no need adding a comma to that. So let's give it a go. Now for the first, let's add in Facebook, comma, YouTube, comma, and lastly, Twitter. 
Once we've added our website links, let's click on this settings icon which says link options. I want to click on the first option if we want to open up the links in a new tab. I recommend you do that if a user will be redirected to an external website link. And it will be fine for a nofollow link if it will still be on your website. So this will enable you to get conversions regardless. So let's select open in a new window. Once we've done that, let's click on this icon which says preview changes. From here, we can see where we have our slides. So if we hover over the first slide, we can see we have the Facebook link at the bottom left of this page. And if we click on that, we can see a new tab opens up, which will be redirecting us to Facebook. And the same applies for the other links. So let's move to the second slide, click on that, and we'll be redirected to YouTube as well. And that's it. Now there's a reason to why I made this video. I'm currently working on a new video, which I think you guys will absolutely love. And it kind of correlates with this particular video. So I just wanted to put this one out first. As for the other customizations here, I will be talking more on that when the video comes out, which wraps it up for this one. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments down below and I'll be sure to leave you with a reply. I hope you found this video helpful because this can come in handy if you have the free version of Elementor and still want to display slides on your website. Personally, I use this for my e-commerce website to display website promos and banners. Now, if you enjoyed this video, make sure to hit that like button to help this video gain more discovery. And if you're looking to learn more about how to design a website as well as other web related stuff, consider subscribing and turn on the notification bell so you get notified when a new video gets published to this channel. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video.